All right, welcome. This is my uh, vlog for my ECI 834 class. And uh, this week, I was looking at some uh, feedback that people create, uh, gave, and it was great, and I really appreciate it. But I'm very lucky to have uh, two pre-interns from the University of Regina. I have Vanessa over here and Adam back here. And I asked them uh, to take a look at my uh, module as well, because I think it's good for them to see the online uh, world a little bit too, because it could be in their future. So. Uh, they took a look at my uh, course and I thought I'd ask them for a little bit of feedback. So, sort of you, Vanessa. Um, so, what did you think of that? Uh, you had a quick look at my module. Mm -hmm. What were some of the pros and cons, or what did you think? I felt with the pros of it, it's very uh, user friendly. Uh, it's a step by step uh, process for students, so they can work at their own pace and they can go through each piece of it, and it's very well laid out. and. Um, easy to go through. Um, one of the um, ideas I had for the initial, at the beginning of each of the sections, the notes page, just having that reminder that they have a video that overviews each of the sections and, ref and to go along with it with the video. Just as a reminder, um, some of them have a little intro to it and some of them, like the grade, angled elevation and distance doesn't. So just to give them that reminder, so when they get to it, they don't panic that, oh, I don't know you know, what to do just in case they forget. But overall, I thought it was um, um, good. They know um, the little icon show them what uh, thing, what assessments are for, for marks and, and it goes right to the exam. So uh, yeah, thought it was well laid out and, and great. So in my own perception on this, is that it's really well laid out. I like how uh, everything kind of goes down vertically. It's, it's visually appeasing. The one thing I did comment on is that the videos could have things like timestamps on them. So in case somebody wants to go back and look at the video, that'd be really useful. I do appreciate that he used like the exact notes that he had put up in the video. That's a really good point because a lot of teachers put a video and then they assign something different. But then students, it'll be harder to kind of relate what they do in the video to something that's not exactly in the video, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. And the only other thing I asked him is, when I first saw this, I asked how much time are students gonna get on this? Because I feel as though from taking online courses, it's a lot harder to gauge the amount of time people put into stuff in online courses. I took a Education 100 class one time, and. I know it wasn't too much work, but it all just seemed a lot because there were so much assignments just laid upon each other. And that's one thing. So if this is like over a span of two weeks or something like that, or then that would be fine. Or even if it's a span of like one week, as long as it's uh, taken properly, then it would be really good. Yeah. Cool. No, that's great feedback. I really appreciate that. Uh, Vanessa, any other thing about w online uh, learning that uh, you're familiar with or you'd like to comment on? One of the things I thought about is just building that relationship with students over online. Um, I think I think you mentioned that you would have some sort of two-way communication, but those regular check-ins that you don't get in a classroom every day face-to-face -face can maybe could prevent some deeper relationship building with students. Um, so there might be a way to do that online in a better way. Also, the enrichment of it. So they're they're all laid out and it's what they need to do, but if they need to be challenged further or some things need to um, be in, in a more difficult situation, like there needs to be that communication, I guess, from the student to do that, but maybe there could be some opportunities like challenges or, or things like that throughout the course just to make sure it's enriched as well and it's not just get through it and then it's done so they can be challenged further. Perfect. Yeah, that goes a lot with a lot of things we've been talking about in class. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Adam? Uh, no, nothing else too much. I will say that with online learning, it's hard to get that connection, just like Vanessa said. And I feel as though assigning a lot of stuff without a connection can lead to a lot of difficulties. Yeah, perfect. Nope. Uh, thanks. I appreciate that, guys. Uh, I'm Dean. That's Adam. That's Vanessa. Thanks for watching our uh, vlog. We're out. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.